And so you can see that we're really increasing the measurement capabilities of the PXI platform through our collaboration with Tektronix. And as Eric pointed out, one of the key ideas behind virtual instrumentation is to digitize that data as fast as possible so you can get it into the computer and work on it with software and today's high performance microprocessors. So for the last few years, you've heard us talk a lot about multi-core processing and especially the evolution of parallel processing. Now, as you all know, you've been fortunate that as LabVIEW users from day one, you could take advantage of this high-powered new multi-core technology. But you know and I, we're never, we're never satisfied with where we are at any given time. So we're always looking for newer and better ways to take advantage of this technology and let you take advantage of it. So here to tell you about some of our latest developments with multi-core processing, please welcome Kevin Johnson and Casey Weltson. Hey guys. Hey, hi. So Kevin, tell us what your group is doing with multi-core processing. So in LabVIEW R&D, we've been working with multi-core technologies for several years now. Um, two years ago at NI Week here, we released LabVIEW Real-Time for SMP, allowing you to take your real-time applications and target them across different processors. But with multi-core technology evolving so rapidly, uh, we needed to find new ways to take full advantage of those powerful processors. So my group started looking into virtualization that allows you to take multiple operating systems and run them on one computer. So virtualization, so why would an engineer want to run multiple operating systems on a single computer? Well, virtualization lets engineers utilize the distinct capabilities that different operating systems can provide without taking on the additional size and cost that you would have with two computers. So for example, um, many of you might be familiar with uh, types of hosted virtualization like VMware, allowing you to run maybe multiple copies of Windows and Linux together on one computer. Another example would be running a real-time operating system together in parallel but isolated from a general purpose operating system. So bottom line is virtualization lets you do a whole lot more with one single computer. Okay, so what exactly has your group been developing then, Kevin? I'm glad you asked. So today, we're very proud to announce the NI Real-Time Hypervisor. Um, it lets you run LabVIEW Real-Time together in parallel synchronously with Windows XP on a multi-core PXI or industrial controller. Well, great, we got a product announcement today. Yes, we do. Congratulations. Thank you. So tell us about the demonstration that we have set up for the audience. So to show off virtualization today, we've teamed up with Intel to create this really cool video game guitar playing robot. You may have seen something similar to this last year on our expo floor. Um, that system actually consisted of three pieces. It had the Xbox to play your typical guitar hero game. It had a real-time controller that used vision acquisition and a camera to uh, you know, grab the images from the video screen, analyze them, and accurately control the guitar. And then it had a Windows system that provided the configuration and user interface for your real-time application. But today, in this demo, uh, with Intel VT quad-core processor and our new uh, RT hypervisor, we've been able to combine all three of these pieces together into this one single PXI8110 controller. Now, Kevin, I understand that Intel was particularly interested in us in developing and showing this demo today. Is that right? Yes, it is. Uh, they actually hired Scythe Systems and NI Alliance partner to create this demo for us, and they were nice enough to let us use it today to show off virtualization and multi-core. Well, anybody here is from Intel, we are more than happy to show off your technology in our demo today. Mm -hmm. So, Casey, why don't you tell us about the application that we're going to, run, going to run here? Sure. So in front of me here, I have all the different components that Kevin mentioned. I actually have a vision system behind the scenes here. So I have a monitor with a camera looking at it. And as the notes come down the screen from the guitar game, we'll be able to automatically analyze that uh, within the computer. In addition, I have a pneumatically controlled guitar. So we're actually using compressed air to press the buttons on the guitar at the correct time during the game. So now I thought I'd take, uh, we'd take a look at the uh, LabVIEW project here. Looking in the Project Explorer, you see that I have two main targets here. I have my computer, which represents the Windows XP side of my controller, and then I also have a real-time target here, and the unique part is that these are both running on the same PXI8110 controller using the real-time hypervisor. Now, looking at the code that actually performs the analysis here, you'll see that we've actually split this into three separate timed loops in order to make effective use of the multi-core processing power on our real-time system. So we have a vision acquisition loop, an image analysis loop, and then finally, a control output loop as well. 
Okay, so you said this is a quad core machine. That's right. And you're using three of the cores for the real time application. What are you doing with the fourth core? So the fourth core is running Windows XP. Oh, okay, so the virtualization technology lets you allocate which operating system uses which cores and how many of each? Exactly. Okay, cool. So let's run the demo. All right, so we'll go ahead and open up the uh, open source frets on fire game here, and you'll see that we've, uh, we've made a few modifications as well. Mike, I know you're a guitar player. I thought you might give it a, give it a challenge here this morning. Uh, you want me to play the guitar? I do. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and start this off. I'm going to choose for the, uh, the computer to be on expert, and Mike, let's go a little bit easier on you and, and go with medium. And I know I should have listened to my son when he wanted me to play <laughs> this game with him last week. <laughs> All okay. right, so as we're starting up here, you're going to see the notes come down the screen. <laughs> nice picture. And our robot's automatically going to play here. So we're off to a good start. Uh, you know, cool. it looks like we've hit about 40 notes consecutively using the Rockbot. Mike has a stunning zero. Uh, <laughs> at this point, we're up to about uh, 18,000 points, and Mike in a very close uh, second with about 2,000. Uh, okay, here, so. I, I, think we get, I think we get the idea. All the right. Rockbot is way better than I am, a guitar player. But certainly, even though I'm a little bit rusty, it's clear to us that the PXI system with NI real-time hypervisor technology is more than able to ha handle all the tasks involved here, and I'm sure a whole lot more for our customers. So thanks for the demo, guys. Thanks, thanks Mike. Mike.